we do not get any result and the reason for this uh, we forgot I'm really sorry I forgot to add the uh, I mean we do not even have the uh, gender input from a user we didn't take any gender input from a user if you check the information in the database for every uh, user because on the registration while we uh, register a new user if you rem know that the controller for that is our um, authentication controller if you come here we have not take any gender as an input from a user you can see that so we totally forgot about that as you know we have a lot of uh, you know personal data of the user and we forgot to add our text editing controller that is the text field for getting input from a user about the user gender so anyways we will add that quickly so what we can do is you need to simply go to the account setting screens and here on the account setting screen in the personal info at the start okay so that you do not get confused at the start I will just add another text editing controller that will be gender then in the user interface that is in the widget build after the edge after when we tag the edge as an input from a user so I will just copy paste this one okay this uh, edge size uh, this edge custom text field and also with a size box copy it and paste it down here so I will give it name as this is now gender so after edge now on the registration screen or you can say on the sign up screen we will have gender make sure to change the controller for it which is gender text editing controller and guys don't worry I will provide the source code okay just uh, this is a small thing it is not uh, error but it is a mistake okay I totally forget about it as you know we have a lot of text fields and a lot of user data that's why I forgot about it to add a gender uh, text field as well in order to take input from it so this is our gender text editing controller then of course we can add here some icon like this this icon we will add so in the registration screen we will have now the gender input field as well that is the user can type his or her gender okay then comes the saving part so the saving part for this is inside the method which is when we update user data to file store database so after the edge remember first we have name then edge so after the edge we can add gender okay name edge and then the third one is gender in the personal info and we call this method as you know from here we are calling it okay so name edge after the edge we will check the gender text editing controller so name edge gender name edge and after edge we have gender gender text editing controller dot text dot trim which is inside the personal info the third one okay name edge gender so we call this method name edge gender you know the third one is gender so now name edge the third one will be gender and you know that the value of which is inside the variable gender and we can convert that to lowercase so now when a new user create a brand new account then the gender information will be saved okay to the database okay so these uh, this is now for new user the new user will have the gender value however the old users which is already created they have no um, no data 
so for that purpose we will go to the database and we will add the values manually okay as you know we have not for the old we have not the gender so we can say gender and this one is female account so we can say female in small english alphabets as we are comparing it with lower case so female then this one is also female account so we can add field which will be gender female gender this one is male account as you know it is John account so male and this one is also female so this one is female account so now we are ready to test our application so you can install the app on your phone and here on our authentication controller one thing which we have to confirm is the create new user account okay it is basically this method so the earlier which we done was if I show you it was something related to the account setting screen okay that was for the account setting screen account setting screen you know the account setting screen where the user update the account information so from there the user can update his or her gender male or female okay or others if the user is a male then the user can choose male and if the user is female the user can write uh, gender female so that was the account settings the create account we have not done okay that was we done it for the account settings now let's do it quickly for the registration screen as well so for the registration screen you will add a new text editing controller inside after the edge So after the edge we have uh, gender okay after the edge remember that one two three four five the fifth one then the in the user interface let's quickly add that that is after the edge here it is remember this is now the registration screen okay earlier we were working on the account setting screen so after the edge we have gender gender text setting controller and let's add icon for this when the user write any gender here then the user click on the button here which is create account so the if condition after the edge we will check if gender is not empty then create account so after the edge we will send gender remember one two three four five six at the sixth number we have this gender so go to the create new user account which is basically on our authentication controller so after the edge that is one two three four five and then the sixth one is gender okay so now while saving it to the database after the edge we can say gender by the same key name we have to save now here uh, we need to go to our person model class after age we have to add another one which is gender
and then here as well so gender so yeah this is the create account now when a user create new account the gender will be saved to his or her profile information inside the user man collection inside the database also we have done it for the account settings as well that is the user can update it if the user want for the account settings if you want to retrieve and display the user gender uh, that is the previous data so of course the previous data we can get from here okay as you see that so I will copy this edge one so we have gender gender and gender text rating controller now here we have to create a variable for that so after edge we have gender so we can now say gender so we get the gender assigned to this and that gender value we display in our text field on our account settings screen so as I told you please guys I'm really sorry for that I just forget about it and I will provide you the source code okay so there is no need for you guys to worry I mean to change all these things okay I'm really sorry for that again so I will just provide you the complete source code okay don't worry about it so anyways now for example in the database it must be in this format let's say if in the database it is in small English alphabet like this that or let's say you have wrong spellings like this like this okay then it will not work for that okay as you know that here it is different I mean when the spellings in small English alphabet or let's say if you have written a wrong a wrong spelling then in that case it will not match it will not match uh, with the values which we provide here because inside our query if you see here we are specifically uh, getting the value from our drop down and the drop down you know that it has value in this format on our gender you know that so for that purpose if I show you while saving the information okay these are important information to mention so that you can understand the the working of it okay that is when we update first of all on the account setting screen when we update you see first we convert that to lowercase so in the database it will be saved in lowercase similarly for our registration if you go to the authentication controller make sure that you convert that to lowercase okay for the gender specifically gender dot to lowercase must be converted to lowercase I will tell you what I mean choosen gender dot to string dot to lowercase as you know that the options here for the gender you see the starting word is in capital letters okay so that's why uh, we want to make sure that while saving or updating we also convert that to lowercase and then while displaying that is applying the filter search we also make sure that we have that gender which the user choose here we convert that to lowercase so that's why we convert that to lowercase so now let's test the application so now if I say male United Kingdom 25 or greater than 25 done so you see John Parker account appears and there is no other account for mail so you see if I swipe uh, right or left it is not showing any other now let's search for female accounts so let's say female who lives in the United Kingdom whose age is 20 or greater than 20 so if I click done so you, we have Julia Smith 23 and then Isma Marta 26 you see and then Angela Smith 42 so you see that the filter which we apply that is whose age is equal to 20 or greater than 20 okay that is all those females whose age is 20 or greater than 20 so you see that greater than 20 greater than 20 
greater than 20 but below than 20 it will not display you any profile now how we can confirm for example this time I want to search for a female from the United Kingdom whose age is either 40 or above than 40 means greater than 40 so if I click done I see only the Angela Smith profile you see because uh, she is the one she is the one profile we have whose age is either uh, that is her age is of course greater than 40 which is 42 okay that is according to our search whose age is equals or greater than 40 so she is greater than 40 that's why we see the result